Hello, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. This is your love horoscope for September of 2022. And we are just going to get started. This month, I'm doing something a little bit differently. We have four questions that we are going to answer about your love life. And we're going to start by saying a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Leo's Guardian Angels. Let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels help Leo to understand their love life for September of 2022. So the first question we're going to get answered, Leo, for you in September is what is your love vibe? What love vibe are you putting out into the universe right now in September? What is Leo's love vibe? What are they putting out there in the world? That card almost came out, but not quite. The chariot card. I like it. Chariot card is great. It's about the strength of will. Strength and will and desire and moving forward. It's the number seven, which really speaks to your life path, Leo. It's about you taking charge, harnessing your energy and moving forward successfully. This can also indicate you being seen in the public eye in love where people are noticing you. People are noticing your vibe. People want to be near you and you're just charging forward and people are noticing you left and right. Oh my God, what a great vibe. And we're going to get a qualifier from the messages of love for what vibe are you putting out there, Leo? And let's just see what kind of vibe is Leo putting out in love and romance? Vulnerability. I like it. So I have a feeling that the reason why you're so attractive in September, Leo, is because you are willing to be vulnerable and you're willing to put yourself out there and be vulnerable. And that's an excellent trait, Leo. I love that trait for you in love and romance. That's a great vibe. You're going to be attracting all sorts of people this month. Even if you're not looking, even if you're in a relationship, you're still going to be attracting people because that is the love vibe that you are putting out there. Confidence, will, desire, you're open, you're vulnerable and People are going to notice that this month, Leo. Next, we're going to look at, if anything, why are you stuck in romance and love? Like what's holding you back? Why are you stuck, Leo? If any of you out there are feeling like, I'm trying to put myself out there, I'm trying to be vulnerable, but I'm it's not working, what's happening? So why are you stuck in romance and love for some of you Leos out there? Why? We've got the wheel card. The wheel card speaks to karma. The wheel card also speaks to finishing a cycle. So maybe one of the reasons, Leo, that some of you are stuck is because you haven't completed a cycle from your past. You haven't completely learned a karmic lesson from your past. You haven't finished something that you started, Leo, in a love situation, dating, relationship. Maybe you just didn't tie the ends with somebody. Maybe you're just like, let it hang. <laughs> and you never had closure. And so I feel that to get unstuck, you're gonna need to have some closure there. You're gonna need to finish what you started. You're gonna need to balance out some of that karma and stop repeating certain mistakes and love. And some of that could just be just leaving things hanging, keeping things open-ended. And if that's your scenario in love and romance, I would say don't leave things open-ended. There's a start and a finish to everything. And it's not helping you in love if you have kept something open-ended. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what action steps you can take in love. This month I'm using the Heal Yourself reading cards and I have the book there just in case we need to read something from the book. Okay, Leo, what action steps would it help you to take for the month of September of 2022? Let's have a look. We have cycles. Oh my gosh, you cannot make this stuff up, Leo. Cycles, and then we got the wheel card, which is also about karmic cycles, right? And this is literally a wheel behind this woman. And it's not the number 10, but it's the number six. So because you've got cycles twice in your reading for love, Leo, let's have a look. Let's see what this has to say. So obviously number six, if that has any significance for you, and it says, life is cyclical. 
Sometimes things flow and other times they slow down. What cycle of your life are you in right now? What is the one area of your life where you need to focus most of your energy? So the action is your body is the key to showing you where you are at. Do you have the energy and vitality to focus on your goals or are you in a period of healing? Write down what you are experiencing at present. Read over what you wrote several times. So I just feel like if there is a cycle in love that you haven't quite closed the book on, that's what the angels are saying, closed the book on and finished, maybe now is the time for you to close the book on that, that cycle, that period, that time period with that person. And you're going to need to close out that cycle so that you can then begin a new one. Because I like the fact that you're getting noticed, Leo. You're seriously getting noticed this month. People are coming out of the woodwork to acknowledge you, notice you. And you really wanna be able to start something new if that is what you want to do. Now let's have a look at what your lover or future lover has to say to you, what your current lover or future lover has to say to you, Leo. So Leo's lovers, what do you have to say to Leo at this particular time? The first card that came out is this one. Right here, I'll show it to you, it says freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And I like that because we got the chariot, which is about that path moving forward. So your person or your future person is saying, Leo, the path is clear. I'm here, I'm your lover, I'm waiting at the other end, but you need to close out those old cycles if you wanna be with me. And so I really like that. So what is Leo's lover or future lover saying to Leo right now? What is Leo's lover or future lover saying to Leo? We've got this card and I'll show you the picture. Here we go. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and new possibilities for your life. So Leo, this is about you dissolving old energy to create new possibilities for your love life. Let me say that again. You are dissolving old energies, getting rid of them to create the space for new opportunities in your love life. And you can only do that when you are mindful about closing out those old cycles because you are ready. The path is clear for you. So I hope this was helpful, Leo. You know, I do astrology readings with tarot cards as well as reading your birth chart. You can book that below. You can also support my channel by buying one of my published books. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.